and happy Monday everybody it's Monday at 5 it's the Facebook live show and we are talking about how to be the leader as we come out of this pandemic and what I'm going to be discussing is what you should be doing now to be making money but also planning as we come out of this and this is just some information that I had shared um, in a in a private video to a group and I just want to um, I'm just going to share this right now. Here we go. That pouty face was because I kind of put it in the wrong place. <laughs> um, but oh well. Um, let's see. Where else do I want to share this? Let's see, on my personal page, join me now. This is going to be epic. Hey, as you are jumping on and joining me, let me know where you are watching from. I realize it's uh, five o'clock and a school day for most people who are homeschooling at home is probably wrapping up as we go into dinner hour. So I just have to say, boy, do I wish I had gotten a haircut. Um, <laughs> in January or even just February. Um, I don't think my hair has ever, ever been this this long. Um, it feels good. It's healthy, you know, so I'm really not complaining too much. But um, it's just good to be here. Um, it's another week. I'm actually going into week seven of, you know, the stay at home. And really the only reasons why I've, I've gone out is to do blood work a couple of times and and at the grocery store. So here's what I've been sharing with, with uh, people about what you should be doing right, right now. And I know that I've done a couple of other lives on this, but I just really, uh, really try to drive home like what you can be doing now because there's so much talk about, um, oh, we shouldn't be selling. It's a pandemic. Like, you know, like life is in an uproar. Like globally, we're, you know, like it's, it's this is the first time we're having like some, a global um, recession. I have done work for companies where they've asked me to come in like these global companies to um, speak and inspire their leadership team. And one of the things that, that I remind them is like, you're a global company. At any one point, there is some part of the world that's having a recession. That's just natural. And that's just what happens. But this is the first time like we are globally all in this together. And I just want to remind people that look at your own buying behaviors. There are places that you're not spending money on that then is getting shifted to the other places. So I will have to admit that the other day I was like, you know, like I can't go to the mall. I can't, can't do, it's not that I was doing retail therapy, but I just wanted to buy something nice for myself, um, mainly skincare. And I, I wish I, I had some like right here. I'd heard about this woman called Erin Faces. You can follow her on Instagram. And I had been wanting, kind of like peeking around at her stuff. A, a really good friend of mine loves her products. So I was like, you know what? I'm just, I just, I'm just going to try it. Um, just set, like some sort of like pampering. And right there, like dropped over $100. And it made me feel, it came in today, by the way, so it was uh, it was like a little present in, in the mailbox. But, you know, like, what if Erin thought, oh, I can't be selling my, my um, natural products because nobody's, nobody's buying, then I wouldn't have had, like, the opportunity to buy from her and to support her. But also, she's supporting me in my self-care. So it's it works. And I'll tell you a little bit more about how, even though in this global pandemic, some of the changes that I'm seeing out there about hiring people and things are happening very fast, but people are hiring and it's really a lot of fun to be able to help people. I've done some really wonderful um, virtual speeches, presentations and helping. Um, I should write this down. I spoke for a college um, professor and his two of his classes, one being it's more of a freshman class and the other one being more of a third year class. Of course, class is not in session. The university sent everybody home. It's um, Holt University that's um, down in the Boston campus, but they sent everybody home obviously for obvious reasons. And so classes, class takes place at a certain time, but people are literally like around the globe. Um, some attending class at two in the morning, God bless them. 
Um, and I, I just want to share with you because a lot of times people like shun like, oh, I would never speak, you know, to a college university and like they don't they don't pay. Um, that's true. Um, but you have a group of young adults, and this is a long marketing game because these are the people who are going to be able to hire you in five to seven years. They're going to remember you. So we spoke for two different classes and actually jumped on a call with one of the girls because she reached out to me on LinkedIn. And of course, like, hey, if there's anything that I could ever do for you, just let me know. And she just, she was like, can we, can we, I think she had asked me, um, when this is all over, if like we could get together for coffee, why wait? Why don't we meet for coffee now? You know, we can do it virtually. And so that, that, that is exactly what we did. So here are some things that I think you should be doing right, right now. I want you to call all of your current and, and past clients. Call them all and say, what can I do for you? And give me some hearts or put, put something in the comments if you've been reaching out to your current and past clients. That's what it's, that is so important right now. Just to let them know, hey, one, I'm still around. I haven't closed up shop and I'm here to support you. How can I support you? Now, a couple of things are going to happen. They're either going to say nothing because they are so overwhelmed and they don't even know how to answer the question. So offer to follow up with them. If you get something on the calendar, how about I follow up with you in two to three weeks? Would you like us to jump on a call? Um, and like try to set up that appointment with them right now. And when you do set something up, I mean offer, let's set something up on the calendar. Let's put something on our calendars. And if we need to reschedule as we get closer to it, then we'll reschedule. That just lets them know that you're being flexible. But I want you to call all of your current and your past clients. And then also start looking at all of your contacts. Go over to LinkedIn if you've got a LinkedIn profile and start looking through some of the contacts that you have there. Who can you reach out to just to offer, how can I help you? How can I help you right now? Um, if you are calling and leaving messages, you know, like I, I encourage people to have some sort of a script. Um, and a lot of times I, um, I hear people say, oh, scripts sound like they're too um, canned and rigid. Well, that's true if that's the way that you write it. But here's how I suggest that you write it. I want you to write the script and then I want you to say it out loud because here's the truth. We do speak differently than we write. So you're going to write in what's a natural, in a, a natural way for you. But by saying it out loud, you're going to know how to change it. So I have the script because a lot of times people get really um, the deer in the headlight look stumped for what to say when they hear the beep. And that's when they're like, uh, um, hey, it, this is um, this is Lorianne. I'm calling to. Um, yeah. And then you're just like, shoot, I don't know what to say. And I can't I can't like erase and like and start over again. So I like just encourage you, like have a little template. Hey, it's Lorianne. I'm just calling to see how you're doing. I know that life is very chaotic and life as we know it, like the past couple of months have been drastically different than they were last year when we were working together. How can I help you? How can I be of service to you? Here's my name. Here's my number. Feel free to reach out to me over the next, the next week or so. And let's, let's have a discussion by just having that template. You have something to fall back on. And if, you know, like obviously you're calling your current and past clients and also your contacts, if you can inject something that's very personal about your relationship, like, hey, I can't believe it's been a year since we met at this conference, um, since, since uh, Jane Doe had introduced us, to keep it very casual and also very natural sound sounding. And the other thing about booking those appointments is to ask them, do you prefer phone, Skype, or Zoom? And I've always been a big advocate for this, but about figuring out like what is your what is your your prospect, your client, what is their their preferred method of, of communication? Some people prefer the phone, but some people just don't want to get on Zoom. And there's been a lot of like weird things that are happening with Zoom, so let's just go with that. But just to be able to like put them in an environment where they feel comfortable.
maybe they know like, you know what, it's going to be first thing in the morning, maybe because of your time difference. Like I'm not, I'm not doing my hair and makeup. So can we just do phone? So just to make it super easy for them. So those are the things you should be doing right now. Just constantly reaching out constantly. Like if you could, you know, like reach out to like three or four people a day, you know, like by the end of the week, I mean, that's like almost 30 people. And like you've probably heard me say, like a daily vitamin, you do it every day. You don't have to. I'd rather you don't make 28 phone calls in one day, like on Mondays, saying, okay, I'm done for the week. No, I'd rather you do three or four every single day. Just like a vitamin, you don't take seven of them in one day. You take one a day because that's how they're designed to work. And so when you make your three to four phone calls every day, and that's just right now, I would say normally when we're not in this pandemic, I would say, you know, do two reach outs a day just to get into that habit, become the sort of person that is constantly reaching out to people. Now, how can you reach out? It doesn't have to be by phone, you know. Um, Facebook and Instagram, um, there is a wonderful way that they allow for you to leave voice messages. That's always wonderful. I get the most wonderful compliments um, from people when they like, wow, it was really nice to hear a human voice. And you can also leave video on, on Facebook. I haven't tried video yet on Instagram. I'm not even sure if that's actually possible. But um, I love leaving voice messages. Um, Email is also another option. And again, if you're leaving those voice messages, just kind of like have, just be very conversational, get to know people, and offer assistance. So as we come out of this, because we are eventually going to come out of this, um, I'm kind of kind of curious if you've been um, noticing, you know, like some of the states, you know, like in countries where who are kind of like, you know, like let's let's open the borders, let's increase business again. And uh, a part of me wonders is, you know, if that's really due to because we're ready or if it's because, you know, like they realize that they themselves along with other people are getting a little, we just get a little stir crazy. I keep saying like, I'm so glad that up here in the Northern Hemisphere, um, up, I'm up here north of Boston, that the weather is very springtime. And I realize in the Southern Hemisphere, they're going from summer into their fall. So maybe you know, like it's a, it's nice that they're getting the cooler weather, but it's still like uh, as a whole, um, most of us, I would say on the globe are able to be outside, which is, which is nice. Although I was talking to a girlfriend of mine who is in Canada and in the Northwest Territory, and they did have a big snowstorm the other day. So here's what I'd like you to do as we come out of this. There is a famous hockey, um, hockey player, Wayne Gretzky. If you've not heard of them. If you're too young, make sure you look him up. But he is known for saying, skate to where the puck is going, not where it was. Let me just like say that again. He says to, his quote is, to skate to where the puck is going and not where it was. And so how does that, that relate to this coronavirus, to this uh, global pandemic? I want you to get ahead of it. Because your clients, your customers are like, what's going to happen when we come out of this? So one of my clients is, um, she does, uh, she's a burnout specialist. And so to be reaching out to companies because we're going to be bringing people back to the workforce. What's that going to look like? And how can we help our customers and our clients to basically reemerge back into uh, what used to be our normal world, which I don't think it's going to exactly be exact. It'll never be the same. So how can like, what predictions can you make about what it's going to be like? Like, how do we bring people back to the office? You know, um, if like with this particular client being a burnout specialist, you know, is there like, what sort of burnout was happening while at home? What can we be doing now for those clients? to bring them back to the office so that they are one mentally and physically able mentally and physically, like they're going to be like ready to come back to the office. You know, what sort of things are you predicting and seeing? So if you're an online business coach like myself, as we emerge out of this pandemic, 
you know, like what changes do your clients need? Because maybe you're going to find that I've got, you know, some new clients um, who are, you know, like they don't want to be in their nine to five now. So now they're emerging. They're just like, okay, like I'm dipping the toe, my toe in the water about this online space. So how, you know, like as the world gets, gets normal again, there's going to be that, that tendency like, oh, well, let me just go back to my job because this online thing could be a little difficult. And it's about us helping them with that mindset. So, you know, like preparing our clients for that change. Uh, being able to see it ahead of them. So, you know, like, how can you get ahead of this? How can you become an advisor, an advisor, like a constant advisor for your clients, your customers, and, and just essentially like everybody? How can you be that go-to person, you know, like to ask for questions, to have answers, you know, to have just like your th sharing your thought leadership? What do you think is going to be happening when we come out of this? What are your recommendations on like whatever your specialty is? You know, we've got, you know, if, let's just say you're a health coach. A lot of people have been eating at home. You know, um, me and my husband, we actually, you know, went out. Uh, well, we didn't go out. Um, excuse me. We went and got takeout because we also wanted to like support some of our local restaurants who have been hit really hard. And so we did have something different at home. But, you know, like normally I'm like a protein and salad person. Oh my God. So like when we come out of this, you know, like that now I'm going to be able to like go to the grocery store. But there's a lot of people like, I just want to go out to eat. I want to go sit someplace new besides my living room or kitchen. And how do we make smart choices again? You know, how do we like, you know, if we've been eating really well, or maybe we haven't been eating really well while we've been, you know, at the stay at, stay at home, how do I branch back? How do I, how do I make that transition better? I realize that I'm like kind of in the sun, if you can see, like I keep like inching, inching backwards now. Um, I also want to recommend that you utilize media. Now I'm not a PR expert, but one of the things that I do is I get um, uh, the daily, and when I say daily, it's three times a day, emails from Harrow help a reporter out. And I will skim through these. And if you've never used tarot, it's broken up into industries like biomed and health, business, lifestyle, education, um, TV, like, etc. And I will skim through this. And when I see one that either a current or a past client would be good for, because typically if you've been one of my clients, you're probably on the, on the Harrow list because it's something that I've suggested to you. I will forward that email to them and just say, hey, number 21 is perfect for you. I, as a matter of fact, I did that um, again this morning. But getting out into the media. Now, help a reporter out is not just journalists. You know, it's not just articles. There's also people in there like for TV segments, but also podcasts. Those are some of the ones, uh, the three different areas that I've seen. But using all different forms of media, press releases, maybe you should be writing more blogs, sharing more articles on LinkedIn, you know, again, depending on where your clientele is hanging out. You know, is your clientele more professional, more corporate, so I need to be spending time on LinkedIn? Or is my client like a mom who's got a hobby and now after doing this pandemic, she wants to try to make a business of this, you know, so I should be spending more time like on Instagram and Facebook, um, you know, but creating articles and blogs and maybe some videos, you know, working on getting, you know, pro uh, public speaking events. We are going to come out of this and there is going to be, I have seen article after article about there's going to be a big push for speaking for conferences, for meetings. And you know I'm a huge advocate for using some form of speaking, whether it's in person or online or podcasts or creating videos, you know, to help you as your best form of marketing, you know, because it builds that know, like, and trust. And it's, one, it's a lot of fun. And don't, you know, like, I'm a reformed, painfully shy girl. I get it. I'm an introvert. I would rather, you know, just, um, you know, I, I am enjoying being at home, but I also really like to get out too. So utilize all those different forms of media right now. 
um, while you've got, while you're staying at home, you know, maybe pump, you know, get yourself to, I was going to say pump out like a couple of more articles or a couple of more blogs, do what you can and share them where, where you, with different outlets that you're able. Um, and just constantly like offering advice to everyone, you know, being a resource for people. How can I help you? Feel free to reach out. My door is always open. That's what I want you to do. So I also want to share with you, I am doing a free training that is starting next Wednesday. If you've heard about it, or maybe you haven't heard about it, but the title of the training is called Crack Like Content. Content so good, it's addicting. And especially during this pandemic, I am going to be I'm doing a free three-day training, and we are going to go over like how to create content so that you get to the keyboard and you don't have keyboard blocks. That's what I call it. You know, it's, it's, it's a version of writer's block. It's keyboard block. You don't know what to write. You just hear crickets, like nobody says anything. Nobody likes anything. How do I have that conversation? You know, I'm going to be sharing the four different personalities that you should be writing for. How you can turn one piece of content, write it for the four different personalities, and now you've got four pieces of content. And there's a neurological, like there's science behind really drawing people in. Your content has, has a ma the main purpose of your content is to draw in the people that you can work with who are ideal for you to work with and push away the people that you're not a good fit for. You know, um, and I, I just shared this on an Instagram story. Um, and if you're not following me over on Instagram, like hop on over there. It's Lorianne.Mirabito. And I'm doing like just like these mini stories and sharing, you know, over there about like what your content should be doing. Because like, let's just say, um, and I was using a friend of mine, um, Haley, and she's a web designer. And let's just say like Haley, like, you know, said, this isn't true, but let's just say she said like, well, I only work with coaches because I've heard web designers that are like that. I only work with coaches. I only work with you know, coach health coaches. Um, uh, another woman that, that I know, she does Facebook ads for food bloggers. Well, when you start realizing like, well, oh, well, she's a Facebook ad specialist, but she only works with food bloggers. Well, I'm a business, I'm a business coach. I'm not her ideal client. And that's what content is for. It's to draw in the right people and push aside the people that you're not a good fit for. It doesn't mean that the people that you're not a good fit for, that they can't refer you because they absolutely can refer you. So I just wanted to like share that with you. You let me type right down here. You can go to bit.ly slash crack dash like content. Hopefully I spelled that right <laughs> as I'm typing really fast. But I also want to want to encourage you that people are spending and people are buying. In the past couple of weeks, I made 10K, and I don't say that to brag, but I'm sharing that with people because I want you to know it's evidence that people are hiring. People are, I got hired to do a Facebook Live, um, a Facebook Live and Zoom video, live video uh, training for a, a staff, and I also got, I signed on a new client. So when people are telling you like, oh, nobody's going to hire me now as their coach because nobody's, you know, people aren't spending money, and hogwash, not true, absolutely not true. They're out there and the people who like this particular new client, she wants to do public speaking and she knows like this is a beautiful time to get ready. And I have heard that from a couple of other sales calls that I've had, they know like this is a, we are going to come out of this and this is a beautiful book. I'm getting tongue-tied. Getting tongue-tied for a speaker. Um, we, this is a beautiful time to get ready. So anybody who is saying, yeah, not now, not now, well, guess what? When we come out of this, those people are going to be behind. So keep your, keep your head up, stay in the game, and don't believe any hogwash about, oh, yeah, people aren't buying. People aren't doing this. Um, let me know if you have any questions. I realize I shared this in a few different places, so 
sometimes it's a little hard to actually see if there are any questions. Um, but I'm just going to kind of like peek over on my personal page, let you guys like type down if you have any questions that you want me to answer. And, but if you do, feel free to tag me and I will be sure to come back and answer any questions that you have. This has been a great half hour. You know how I would like to keep this to a half hour. And thank you so much for, for joining me. And I look forward to talking to you next week, next next Monday. But hop on over and join me for this training. Crack like content and next Wednesday, April 29th. It is going to be a blast. It's going to be a very intimate training. And so you want to get in on it also. And just a little secret. Like Facebook Live is really a secret. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to also add in some hot seat coaching. And when I do private hot seat coaching, that's going to be on Zoom. So you're going to want to be on the email list for the training, be a part of it so that you can be part of the hot seat coaching, which will be a blast. <laughs> so you guys all have a great night, have a great week, and I will see you. I'll see you around.